uh, good afternoon students uh, i am very happy to meet you in this uh, new year uh, uh, first class uh, for grade 10th uh, uh, so i hope you are well and fine at your home i think you wrote the of an example uh, so uh, last uh, two class i have been teaching you uh, this uh, a uh, grammar okay uh, from uh, this conjunction okay start from conjunction and a very very important part of our grammar nowadays uh, we are moving sometimes uh, you may think it is somewhat tough uh, if you are uh, getting more examples only we can easily overcome this type of very toughest part of the grammar okay so uh, next i taught you uh, three kinds of sentences yes simple sentence compound sentence and complex sentence okay then i gave uh, examples for you okay uh, what is simple sentence what is compound sentence and what is complex sentence uh, simple sentence i said uh, uh, a sentence has a subject and a finite verb one subject and one finite verb okay uh, that time itself i said finite verb means don't bother about that common verbs or finite verbs okay non finite means i already told you uh, what are non finite verbs uh, this uh, gerund infinitive and participles okay uh, so uh, so all the other verbs are finite verb okay good uh, so i taught you this uh, phrase and class okay from beginning itself i said uh, phrases is divided into three uh, first one is adjective phrase second one is adverb phrase the next one is uh, noun phrase okay uh, so what is this uh, from adjective i just moved into this adverb phrase uh, this uh, adjective phrase from adverb to adverb phrase from uh, noun to noun phrase i t now today we are going to uh, see this uh, noun class okay uh, so here uh, we have to identify the uh, classes and the phrases uh, exercises are there how to identify the class and how to identify the phrase okay for a sentence okay and not uh, very deep okay if you are moving very deep uh, not up to your level uh, we have uh, no things to learn but it may confuse you i think so so what is in your textbooks according to your syllabus or according to high school level uh, we will move into this uh, uh, i had book uh, class as well okay Uh, so all of you uh, listen the class take down the notes okay take your uh, uh, grammar note and write this material okay uh, so don't think that the grammar is very boring it is very very uh, useful for you okay have you understood without grammar we cannot improve our writing skill okay so if you want to improve your writing skill, definitely grammar is uh, essential okay come uh, so uh, today we are going to see the classes okay Uh, classes the first one is adverb classes the first one is adverb classes okay now uh, so what is this adverb class okay uh, adverb class uh, a group of words which forms the part of the large sentence which has subject and finite verb and does the work of an adjective uh, adverb have you understood what is a adverb class an adverb class is a group of words which forms the part of the large sentence which has subject and a finite verb and does the work of a adverb okay that is adverb class a group of words it has subject and finite verb okay are you very clear so subject and finite verb we should but the phrase it won't come yes already i thought it just to read okay you will get the idea or if you have any doubt the interaction session okay uh, when you are coming you ask the doubts i will clarify your doubts okay what are your doubts come uh, first example is uh, the rested at sunset the rested at sunset they rested when evening 
king. When evening came, uh, they rested at sunset. They rested when uh, when evening came. Okay. Uh, listen, students. Uh, this uh, two groups. Okay. One is uh, uh, they rested at sunset. Okay. This is a group of words which uh, uh, does the work of an adverb. Okay. At sunset. Time reference. So we are saying this as adverb phrase. Okay. Then the same one, another one is at sunset when evening came. It starts with their subordinating conjunction. It starts with their subordinating conjunction. So when evening came, it also refers to time reference. So it is here, it uh, does the work of an adverb. Okay. Time reference. Okay. We already studied. Okay. They rested when evening came. Okay. Uh, so before uh, uh, moving into uh, this, okay, I want to say something about you have studied in your uh, uh, lower classes, okay? Uh, kinds of uh, uh, kinds of uh, adverbs, okay? Um, so adverbs, how do you find out the adverbs, okay? Uh, how the I already gave you a uh, very uh, uh, short or uh, very clear uh, definition of adverb. Adverb describes a verb, an adjective, or another adverb. Okay, uh, so that is adverb. You all know very well. We study in the lower class. So, what are the kinds of adverbs? Okay, adverbs of time. Okay, time reference means adverb. Adverbs of place. Adverbs of place. Then adverbs of uh, frequency. So frequency means how often. That is also adverbs. Then adverb. Adverbs of manner, adverbs of reason, so time, place, how far, all these times comes means it is an adverb. You keep it in your mind. That is also one of the way to identify. Then adjective means you all know very well. Adjective of quality, adjectives of quantity, uh, numeral adjectives, okay, adjectives of uh, uh, distributive adjectives, okay, uh, then demonstrative adjectives. Then interrogative adjectives, yes. Uh, so keep it in your mind that one also. Okay, come. Uh, so additional uh, questions I am uh, saying. Uh, you may sit. You may sit wherever. You may sit wherever you like. You may sit wherever you like. Okay. Uh, so it is a place reference. Okay, you may sit wherever you like. So it is also adverb class, adverb class. Next one is you will you uh, will you wait till I return till I return. Will you wait? Till I return. Okay. Will you wait till I return? Okay. So uh, see whenever till these are all subordinate class. Okay. So I, so I said adverb class, adverb classes starts with their uh, so, uh, this is subordinating conjunction. So that's why I gave this much important for conjunction. Okay. If you know these conjunctions well, then only we can uh, move into simple compound complex sentences or analyzing a sentence okay this is very important that's why i said again and again this coordinating conjunction you should know to differentiate coordinating conjunction subordinating conjunction subordinating conjunction uh, when i was teaching i said the uh, uh, main duty of uh, uh, subordinating conjunction to introduce a subordinate class okay come uh, so uh, will you wait till i return okay this is time work. Okay, come. The next one is if you work hard, if you work hard, uh, you will pass. If you work hard, you will pass. Okay, so if you work hard is a uh, adjective class. If you work hard is a adjective, uh, this adverb class. Okay, just to take down uh, these examples. Right first, this is a, a adverb a class, adverb class, take uh, right first.
right first uh, already i said okay uh, don't waste my time uh, so if you can't write uh, very fast uh, so after uh, uh, after uh, listening the class once again you just to go through the youtube and just uh, copy those answer okay write fast write fast next one is uh, adjective class adjective classes the answer ra vidya broken right for students right fast right fast so we are moving into this uh this adjective class okay uh, so definition okay uh, that is uh, part of uh, this uh, rules okay so definition also important you should know the definition uh, the same an adjective adjective uh, class is a group of words which forms the part of a large sentence uh, which has subject and a finite verb uh, which does the work of an adjective have you understood what is the adjective class adjective class is a group of words which forms the part of the large sentence uh, which has a subject and a finite verb and does the work of an adjective okay a group of words okay come here uh, the umbrella with a broken handle okay the umbrella with a broken handle okay it's there okay the umbrella is mine okay uh, the under and underlined uh, words are the umbrella is mine okay it's a main class okay uh, so with a broken handle what is it with a uh, broken handle is a uh, an adjective phrase adjective phrase how we are changing a yeah, adjective phrase into ad adjective class come here the umbrella which has okay with the broken handle we have used here which has a broken handle okay which has a broken handle okay subject also there verb also there i said the subject as well as the uh, finite verb come here the umbrella is mine which has a broken handle uh, i already told you adverb class starts with a subordinating conjunction but uh, adverb class adverb class starts with a subordinating conjunction but adjective class starts with a um, relative pronoun and um, uh, relative adverb okay so that's very important okay uh, relative pronoun uh, who uh, which that okay from that words it will start okay adjective class starts with a relative pronoun and relative adverb okay keep it in your mind so the umbrella which has a broken handle it describes the umbrella which has a subject and a finite verb okay uh, so that uh, that's what it is a uh, adjective class this one is adjective phrase because with a broken handle has no subject and no finite verb okay some more sentences you write the letter the letter draw money the letter brought money which was badly needed okay the letter the e t t a the letter brought money which was badly needed okay which was that i already told okay it starts with the relative pronoun relative pronoun or relative adverbs it will use 
तो स्टॉक्स या एडजेक्टिव क्लास ओके नेक्स्ट वन इस द हाउस दैट आई लिव belongs to my father okay now uh, first of all then the letter um, brought money which was badly needed here the house that i live in belongs to my father okay just to see the house i already told it starts with the uh, starts with the uh, relative pronoun then that i uh, live in belongs to my father okay main class the house belongs to my father that is a main class uh, that i live in is a adjective class have you understood the house that i live in is the uh, class that is adjective class next one is i remember i remember the house I remember the house where I was born. Relative adverb, okay? A uh, relative adverb, the relative pronoun as well as relative adverb, okay? I remember the house where I was born. This is adjective class. I remember the house is a main class where I was born is a adjective. Class, okay. This is adjective class. Write fast. Write soon. Write soon. Right first, right first. Don't waste your time. Number like we get broken handle. Uh, this is uh, don't get confused. Adjective uh, phrase. Adjective phrase. Then I mean the R L number like which has uh, broken handle is mine. The letter brought money which was badly needed. The house that I live in belongs to my father. I remember the house where. I was born. Right, first one more class is there. That is a, a noun class. We will see the noun class. Uh, noun classes. Noun classes. I expect to get here. Price. I expect to get a price. I expect that I shall. I shall get yeah price. Right, boss. Right, boss. Right, boss. So uh, noun classes uh, already I said there. Okay, what is this noun class? Uh, yeah, noun class is a group of words which forms the part of the large sentence which has subject and verb, final verbs of its own, and does the work of a noun. That's all. Okay, a yeah, group of words. Okay, uh, I expect to get a prize. I expect to get a prize. To get a price, you all know very well. No uh, subject; it has no final verb. So we can say it is a phrase group of words which has no meaning, or which, which has no subject and verb. Okay, it has no uh, complete meaning also. To get a price, to get a price, so it is a phrase. Okay, come. I expect that I shall get a price. Okay, this is main class. 
that I shall get a price. I expect what? I expect what? It starts with a uh, uh, relative pronoun that I shall get a price. So I expect what? That I shall get a price. It has subject. It has shall get work on its own. So we should say it is a noun class. Have you understood? Okay. Come. <coughs> Second example, I fear, I fear that I shall fail, okay, I fear that I shall play, uh, fail, okay, uh, come, I fear about what, okay, I fear that I shall fail, so this group of words is here, now, uh, phrase okay the noun class okay keep it in your mind first identify how to identify the uh, this uh, I identify the uh, class okay I already said okay uh, so I am giving some examples also whenever you are seeing this example you will get some idea adjective class means nothing but okay adjective class starts with their uh, relative pronoun or related adverb okay relative pronoun or related adverb uh, so this uh, uh, adverb class. Adverb class, I said it starts with a subordinating conjunction. It starts with a subordinating conjunction. But noun class means not only that one, I will tell you. I, I fear that here it starts with a uh, related pronoun. Okay, next question. No one knows, no one knows who he is. No one knows who he is. Okay. Next. He replied. He replied that he would come. Okay. Uh, so come. Uh, he replied that he would come. He replied that he would come. He replied what? Is the answer for the question what? He replied what? That he would come. No one knows what, who he is. So keep it in your mind. A noun class ends for the question what and whom. Uh, so <clears throat> here are some words it starts with here. Uh, who uh, this uh, adjective, adverb. Okay, uh, who one knows who he is. Okay. Uh, so we have completed uh, phrase as well as uh, uh, class. Okay. Uh, so, uh, according to your exam point of view, okay, uh, last year uh, uh, there was uh, no such questions in the quarterly exam, halfway exam, not like that. But uh, your textbook, the question uh, is there, uh, syllabus is there, definitely, uh, exam point of view, they may ask, okay, they will give one sentence and uh, they will tell you to identify the phrase and its kinds, identify the class and its Kinds. All of you take page number uh, 108. All of you take uh, page number 108. Uh, we will see. Uh, we will uh, see. Okay. How to identify it. Okay. Uh, come. Uh, so it's already it's there. Uh, phrase means what? Uh, clause means what? Okay. Uh, group of words which consist of a finite verb they have given. Okay. Good. Uh, so here kind, uh, kinds of uh, phrases they have given already I uh, said in the last class itself uh, three kinds of uh, sentences uh, they have given adjective phrase, uh, adverb phrase then next one is noun uh, phrase okay uh, phrase okay good <coughs> here identify the uh, phrases in the following sentence and classify them as adjective, adverb or noun phrases okay <clears throat> okay uh, first one is the girl in blue sari is my uh, sister the girl okay uh, in blue sari okay uh, in blue sari uh, uh, in uh, blue sari is the phrase the girl is my sister is a uh, sentence or main class the in blue sari is a phrase okay next one uh, what a phrase means adjective phrase it describes the girl okay normally uh, in blue saris they are describing the girl the girl in blue sari next one. 
Kohli uh, hopes to win the trophy. Hopes, Kohli hopes to win the trophy is the so Kohli hopes what to win that. So it is now a phrase. Uh, we have only five examples. Okay, time permits. Uh, I will give questions for you additionally to find out and we want to say uh, the train halts. Halts refers to stops. The train halts at every halt. Halt halts at every junction. At every junction is a phrase. Uh, the train is the subject. Halts is the uh, verb. At every junction. Every junction means it refers to place and describes the uh, halts. Halt means stopping. Every junction it describes the stopping. So we want to say it as adverb a phrase. I have never seen such a picture. I have never seen uh, such a picture. Uh, such a picture is a uh, such a picture is a uh, phrase. What phrase means? Uh, uh, adverb phrase. Seen such a picture. It describes the were seen okay so she worked in an enthusiastic manner she, she worked uh, in an enthusiastic manner is a, a phrase she worked in an enthusiastic manner so it is a adverb a phrase okay uh, so uh, next one is a class which they have given okay i gave uh, a adverb class i said it uh, modifies the verb that is to tell something about the action uh, details about so I already said adverb class starts with a uh, subordinating conjunction what uh, what are the subordinating connection you know just to see that okay refer it okay this is just a referring word okay uh, sometimes you may think I can't uh, um, buy out all the words in my mind so just to refer it first initial uh, state so noun class I said it stands for the question what next one is adjective class it is starts with a uh, relative pronoun and relative adverb. Okay, come. Uh, identify the class and classify them according. Ram bought a pen that does does not write well. Okay, uh, so identify the classes and classify them accordingly. Okay, they have asked. Uh, I will tell what you. Ram bought a pen. Okay, uh, so that does not write well. Okay. A wrong bought a pen is a main class okay uh, so that uh, does not write well is a okay uh, what uh, that is adjective okay adjective uh, class okay a wrong bought a pen it describes a pen noun okay that does not work well come back as soon as possible come back as soon as possible come back is a main class or in uh, main uh, sentence as soon as possible is a as soon as uh, possible that is a adverb clause uh, Ram bought a pen that does not write well is a adjective class come back as soon as possible is a uh, noun uh, uh, class uh, this uh, sorry adverb class most of her friends uh, whom she had invi uh, invited attended her wedding most of her friends attended her wedding is a main class most of her friends whom she had invited okay whom she had invited is a adjective clause okay um, most of her friends attending her wedding is the main class in between they have inserted that uh, uh, class whom she had invited my brother visits my father whenever he comes to Chennai whenever time reference okay uh, so my brother visits my father is a uh, sent main class whenever he comes to Chennai is a subordinate class what kind of a class uh, means adverb class because it is time reference have you understood uh, you have a four more sentence okay without referring your guide try to write the answer call me in case there is an emergency okay uh, so uh, like that you uh, do if you have uh, any doubts okay interactive session you come there and ask me the doubts how it comes uh, like that you can ask so many doubts i will explain line by line thank you students